This video shows an installation of drain wave for dosing absorption beds. The dosing provides an even distribution through the beds which allows for a good wetting and drying effect. This allows the bed to work as intended. The first part of the installation is to dig the trench and lay a base of FCR, excavate the channels and get the pipework ready. There's a tank in this instance which collects the waste water. The house may later be extended and we may need to put in further absorption beds up above the house, which is why a pump is included. We see the fitter installing a four-way diverter. The pipes are glued to the base of this to allow for a distribution through the two drain waves and for a subsequent two later drain waves if further beds are required. The feeder pipe is cut to fit and joiners included to take the wastewater from the house out of the tank which will then go onto the drain wave which is placed at the head of each absorption bed. The diverter pipes are fitted up with the two extensions which will go to the two drain waves downstream. The drain waves are placed on mortar beds so that they're nice and even and the pipe fittings are glued in place. The gravity feed of these pipes allows the drain wave to collect 10 litres and when it has this amount of water in it, it can release it as a dose to the absorption bed. Holes are placed in the bottom of the pipe which allow for an even distribution throughout the bed which provides this wetting and drying effect which is so important. A joiner is placed to allow for a riser to be included and 245 degree bends are included in this instance, although it isn't recommended. The reason it was included in this case was height of fall being okay and there was only 12 metres of length in each bed. Pipes are glued together and laid evenly on the bed of FCR. An end cap is placed in this instance, but it is also recommended to include a riser so that inspection is possible. The last of the fittings are put in place and then the pipework, which is in the absorption bed, is then ensured to be nice and level because a zero grade is recommended. We see here that the last of the FCR is placed on top and around the pipe to give a bed per the drawings. The FCR material then has a geofabric placed over the top of this to stop fines infiltrating it and soil is backfilled to allow for garden plantings and the garden to be used as intended. The drain wave used according to the drawings is easy to install. The drain wave shouldn't require any maintenance once it's correctly installed per the drawings and the installation has been signed off. 